Hey guys, um, it's time to show you a tour of Gaming Rig version 4.0. Now I understand I've been upgrading this thing quite frequently uh, lately, but uh, basically this is going to be the most stable build for quite a while, and I'll show you why. Well for one, people have been bitching and bitching and bitching, I don't know why, about cable management. I have redone cable management. Um, it still looks kind of messy, but that's just the way the cables are, but it's now organized. There's no longer lines like wires coming through across. Um, for instance, the one up there was a bitch, so I routed it back. I have these tied down with cable ties. I used to route wires back through here, but now they're all routed back through there. Um, I've streamlined the fans. There used to be a cord around somewhere here for the front fan that has been thrown all the way through the back up here so basically this one cord powers all three fans um, I rerouted the fan cable which I used to put across here it's now pushed all the way up around in the back and then thrown over here um, well, this one I had up here but yeah it's a bitch it's a real bitch with these cords because this case I have to say sucks from a cable routing standpoint, there is no holes in the back, which I notice a lot of other cases are slightly wider and they have holes in the back where you can route power cables and everything. Um, there's nothing like that in this case. That's one of the worst parts about it. Um, there's really not a lot of space you could throw wires. These cables are pretty thick when you look at it. So now, what did I get? Now, for one, you're going to notice there are three hard drives instead of two. There's a reason for that. I now have my OS, games, backups. Basically all three drives, these two drives are, are uh, basically cloned onto this drive, or um, I use a Cronus. So now if anything happens to these two drives, I basically can just replace the drive, restore the image from this drive onto this drive or whatever, and you're good to go. So this is a one terabyte, three uh, 320, and a 250. Um, what else did I do? You'll notice that now I have two GTX 460s um, with an SLI bridge, which some people want to know what it looks like. Um, this comes with your motherboard on Crossfire. Crossfire, it comes with your graphics cards. So this is a Asus, um, as you can see, SLI bridge doesn't matter which way you put it, it's all the same shit. And you basically just latch it on to these two pins. You just shove it on there. Um, performance wise, it has improved a lot in my games. Um, I noticed Crisis 2, I can now run maxed out without ever noticing a single frame drop. Um, before I would notice that when it gets pretty damn intense, the frames would drop. Um, I'm now able to hook this up to my high def TV without it ever lagging. Prior to that, you would notice it once you cranked up the settings. Um, as you notice in Gaming Raid 3.0, I put in a Core i7. Um, the clips are still a bitch. I also rerouted this. It's now sticking behind it before it would dangle out here in front of the RAM sticks. Um, so, yeah, this is basically Gaming Rig version 4.0. Um, you know, I, I really don't know what else I can throw in here. I mean, I, I did put in, that's why there's an empty slot. I used to have a um, sound card, and the sound card was shit. It, it sucked. So what I've been using is a USB sound card for now. Um, I just don't think I should spend another 60 <laughs> putting in a new card. Um, games I've been playing lately, I've been playing Grand Theft Auto 4. I got that recently. Uh, Ghostbusters runs really nice with these two cards. Um, I've been playing Crisis 2, Far Cry 2 I got recently, um, let's see, I haven't really gotten anything on Steam lately, I mean, I have Portal 2 now, um, yeah, it's not a lot, <laughs> I, I don't buy games on a regular basis, as you can tell, but, um, what do you guys really think about the gaming rig overall, I mean, you've seen it evolve from version 0 0.9, which I was still using a Dell case, um, the only thing that was th there, the only original part from the original build was this. This is the only piece that was there from version 0 0.9.
Everything else has been added over time. I have said that in the very first video, over time you would see this gaming rig evolve. And I have to say, it has evolved um, to the point where I'm pretty proud of it. What I will do for version 5.0, um, I plan on selling these two cards and getting a 600 series, uh, like a 680 or whatever, whatever the highest end is from the next generation G4 series, I'm, I'm thinking of getting just one of. Um, because they will be doing a new architecture, which would imp which would mean much better speeds. Um, so I, I just, you know. But overall, SLI is awesome. It really is. It's definitely worth investing in. Um, I notice that it's uh, quiet. You never hear it, even though you have additional fans. Yeah, you can see them under there. So yeah, I mean... I did build a new gaming rig uh, for my brother. I might show that off in a future video. But, um, yeah, PC gaming is really where it's at, guys. Um, if you haven't uh, realized that, take a look at uh, Blackbuster Critics. Um, Steam or Valve is, uh, is stealing money from me or something like that. That was one of his videos. He basically showed how the... Steam summer sales or holiday sales are just so fucking ridiculous that I mean you're getting games on the pe on pennies on the dollar, um, and it's ridiculous the prices for PC gaming. It's so cheap. Um, you can get games for ten dollars where the PC ver uh, the console versions are still like thirty to to forty bucks. So yeah, the initial cost. You know, of like, uh, you know, building a rig like this. I mean, you don't need anything near this powerful. Um, as I said, you can easily get by with a Core i3, 4 gigs of RAM, and a single GTX 460. You can get by with that. You don't, I mean, this is 8 gigs. But, um, you know, you don't really need anything more. And this is what uh, my stick is. I'll show you guys here. Uh, it's a XMS uh, DDR3 RAM. It's by Corsair. And as you can see, it is six, 1600 megahertz. So I don't understand why they do this. It shows two times four, uh, two gigs. Yes, this came from a kit, but somebody can easily be mistaken that this is a single four gig stick, and it's not. <laughs> so. You know, when it comes to reliability, also I'm going to mention these things n almost never fail. I mean, really, you have to destroy them yourself, or you have to get a defective one. But memory typically doesn't just die, and when they do, there's a lifetime warranty on these. So basically, I can go back to Corsair if they're still around 20 years from now and say, "Look, this stick is bad. I need you to uh, swap it out for me," and they'll do that. Um, that's one thing you'll never get from Sony. Uh, I have to say, that's one thing you'll never get from any PC manufacturer. You have to build it yourself if you want the best warranties. These cards are two years each, two-year warranties on each of these. Um, the hard drives have five-year warranties on each. The Blu-ray drive has a three-year warranty. The CPU has a three-year warranty. This heat sink has a freaking three-year warranty. The motherboard has a three-year warranty. The uh, power supply has a five-year warranty. The case has a one-year warranty, which I don't know why you would need to warrant the case. But, uh, you know, it's ridiculous. There's, like, so much warranty on this thing that, you know, you can easily outlive a PlayStation 3 um, just on the warranties. And all you do is you pay shipping. That's it. So we'll just stick this thing right back in there. But yeah, guys, um, PC gaming is where it's at. I gotta hold the back to pop it in. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Take care, look out for future content. Rants are coming.